I had done it. As a gawky eight-year-old white belt in oversized white pajamas, I had survived my first test in one piece. These are my instructors, two men that would teach me everything I would know and love about the martial arts and eventually inspire me to teach others. Growing through the ranks, the upper belts were always doing crazy ridiculous moves, like breaking boards in midair. As the blood pulsed through my veins, I hope that one day, I could do the same. I've always been impressed with the students that I work with, from the very young toddlers to the not so young adults. They never fail to amaze me with what they can do. Their dedication and constant pursuance of improvement, or oomph and chutzpah as we affectionately call it the academy, truly inspire me. This is me at my very first tournament, just after achieving my black belt. It was such a rush. Let me tell you, there is nothing more satisfying than the sound of the board cracking. Although the best part of the martial arts for me isn't the flashy kicks, live demos, or power in the knowing that I can bust through an inch of pine with my fist. No, for me it's becoming an instructor and seeing my own students learn and grow. The feats that these kids can accomplish are amazing. Over the last summer, in addition to being an instructor, I was also the summer camp counselor. It reminded me of being a younger Bill and how important my instructors were to me. The biggest rewards are the smiles and reactions from the kids and their parents. In May, I was reunited with one of my first instructors, Mr. Fusco. He refused to accept that I was 18 and leaving for college in the fall and was no longer a little eight-year-old white belt I'd once started as. Over the years, the martial arts has taught me more than anything else could ever could have. I think I've martial arts do as my second family, not only because of the countless hours I've spent there, but because of the growth and support that has come from them.